Uh, my name is Harold Ivy. I have a twin sister named Cheryl. Uh, my friends call me Ivy. Uh, I grew up in East Texas, was educated in, te in Texas, and uh, moved to Philadelphia about 25 years ago, and uh, have been a sculptor now for about uh, 40 years. Well, I started out as a stone carver. I was down in uh, Boston, Texas, which is surrounded by limestone quarries. And you do this little tapping thing with stone where you drive the chisel in and then you hit it again and it blows the chip out. Tap, 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 tap. It becomes a very rhythmic thing and you're, you're kind of like your whole upper body is involved in it. I did it for several years and then I, um, I discovered welding metal. I loved that immediately because I was no longer confined to the stone, but I could like just draw in space. And, you know, then from that I moved on to working with other materials. Like I said, this is cast resin. I've done machine tool parts. I was really pretty um, broadly skilled. I, th I think scale uh, is, is part of the language of sculpture, and uh, objects mean different things on different scales. For instance, it was important for me, for the cowboy, to be kind of uh, over life size too, because I, I wanted to give that sense of heroic megalomania that comes from sort of that scale. Uh, whereas if you had done it some other scale, it might have looked like a toy. Uh, really, to, get, to convey the kind of message you want, the piece has to be a certain size. This is a piece I just finished. It's a piece called Bloodbath. We now live in a technological world which uh, gives us the benefit of instantaneous mass death from above. This piece, I really wanted to be a little bit more about the very moment some instrument of mass death it explodes when we sort of rob these human beings of their humanity and turn them into fire and flame. Obviously pretty uh, grim subject matter. But I was doing this right at the time that uh, the war was really uh, thick and heavy in Iraq. Uh, there were lots of civilian casualties. 